tell me you done lost your mind, you sound like Kanye. So I'm gonna write another rhyme that sound like Kanye. Many parents see their kids throwing up these gang signs. They get upset when incidents like these happen. You get to hear from someone who was riddled with bullet holes but lived to tell the tale. I can distinctly hear his voice say, that shoot him and take the whole truck. Pulling his gun and firing first at the man. Instead of calling for help, he says people around him were recording video of his suffering on their cell phones. I never once heard anyone call 911. I never heard any of the seven people actually give any information. What They were standing there recording. No one dialed 911. Surveillance video shows the encounter that took place in just one minute. Three men with guns, one in a red hoodie, two others disguised in black hoodies, all wearing ski masks, says when the man tried to rip his necklace from his neck, he calmly offered to give it to them, along with the bracelet on his right hand and the watch on his left. The men rifled through Joyner's pockets, narrowly missing a concealed gun holstered in his waist. Calmly offering his belongings, he said, seemed to be working, but their demeanor changed when they could not find more valuables in his vehicle. My mind immediately went to being tactical. I refused to be a victim, that I was going to be a survivor. Then he shoots at another man in a black hoodie. We later learned that was 20-year-old Dasani Gardner, a rapper from Vallejo. Concerned the third man would circle back, he pressed forward to the other side of the pump. You can get a job and pay for studio time. Humbled and humanized on that day on October 21st, that's for sure. The day his life nearly ended. Um, torso, hips, legs, ankles. I was even shot in my big toe. At that moment, the former police captain, who'd retired from the Oakland Police Department just two years earlier and had never been shot on duty, said he knew he'd have to fight if he had any chance of surviving. How many lives and areas are destroyed by this continuous lifestyle of gaming? He joiner fall to the ground while continuing to fire and even manages to get up. But while seeking refuge behind the gas pump, he trips over the gas hose. I was hit in my left hand as I was shooting towards him and it felt like I didn't get shot. It felt like I had licked my finger and stuck it into a light socket. The other man in the black hoodie peeks out from behind and continues shooting a joiner. Well, he's, he's shooting at me. I'm actually pointing my gun that's empty at him in hopes that he doesn't come up, shoot me in the face and execute me. A move that seems to work. The gunman stops shooting and tries to pull his companion's body into the waiting getaway car before abandoning that plan, leaving Gardner's body and escaping in the waiting vehicle. Laying on the ground, his body filled with bullets, one might wonder how Joyner was able to keep fighting even after suffering so much trauma. And these guys consider to be the cool kids. Somewhere we going wrong, man.